hello beautiful people thank you so much for tuning in watching and listening this is going to be the mid-november 2023 reading for the zodiac sign of aries as always my readings are very intuitive so i'll provide you with any intuitive messages i receive as well as meaning of the tarot cards i do however recommend you check out your sun moon and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this month and if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. But that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, so last few weeks or month. Column number two, we're going to take a general look at what's coming for the remainder of November. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message for our future self or spirit guides. We'll also do three yes or no questions, crystal of the month, and a healing note for you here, Aries. Um, but again, column number one, what's wrapping up and getting, what's wrapping up and coming to a close. We have a summary affirmation card here of moderation. One of my favorite cards, Aries. I love things in moderation. I always tell people one of the keys to success is moderation, so doing things in moderation. Um... But I think you did a good job of that. Spending, sleeping, exercising, um, a really nice job of doing things in moderation. Um, I feel like that moderation supported whatever goals you were trying to reach your areas. So that's good to see. Let's go ahead and take a look at our clarifiers, though, or our cards coming through here. So first up, we have the Sun card. In terms of good card in the tarot deck, it really doesn't get much better than the Sun card. This is material happiness, joyous success, successful outcomes, um, all around positive, successful, joy, happy, really, really strong card with the sun card. So I like to see that. Again, I feel like moderation was really the key to success here. We're feeling good about the moderation as well. Maybe you didn't like splurge, but on some things, that kind of good feeling you get when you hit the savings goal. Or maybe we've been eating in moderation, so we see that result on the scale. Um, so seeing the results. Uh, the next card that we have is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a card that can be really busy. Um, you see there's something different happening in each of these cups. It can also be kind of non-committal. So I feel like whatever you're working towards here, Aries, it's not necessarily an easy thing. It's something that takes time and energy to commit to and be successful on. Um, so it's good that we're seeing the benefits, we're seeing the success, so the moderation is paying off. At one point in time, it could have been hard to commit to. Uh, the next card that we have is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is a card, um, this is like a card of freedom. This is a card of being very creative. This is a card of taking action, so again, taking the action here, but it's like, this feels freeing. Um, maybe being able to pay off debt is freeing. Being able to lose some weight, being freed of that extra weight. Whatever it may be, it's like there's a sense of freedom that's coming with these successes and with this stuff that you've been working on here, Aries. Okay, let's take a look now at our clarifiers. First up, we have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, um, this is a communication card. I feel like you're... Maybe hearing validation from others of this success, like maybe somebody noticed weight loss or you like get a congratulations letter for paying off your auto loan or whatever it may be, but it's like I feel like you're seen. You're being validated here. Your success is being validated here, Aries. The next card that we have is the Seven of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups on top of the Seven of Cups. When we see this, it's like the universe providing a very crisp, clear, clean message. Um, so in this case, again, I feel like this wasn't easy to commit to. It wasn't easy to stick to. But you stuck with the moderation. You kept chipping away, kept working towards it. So definitely paying off there. And at the bottom here, we have the star card. The star card is a card of renewal. Absolutely renewal of energy here. Renewing that sense of freedom as well. Again, having less debt, having less weight whatever it may be uh so some renewals of energy also coming through there not surprised to see okay now let's take a look at our next column which is just general what's coming for the rest of november we have a summary affirmation card of perception um it's interesting i've looked at this card so many times areas but i'm looking at her kind of third eye area here 
And I don't know that it's your, I don't know. It's not that you have the wrong perception, but I think there's something you don't know. There's something you're not seeing. Again, I'm seeing like your third eye. It's almost like the information is there, but your intuition or gut hasn't picked up on it. You know, we always follow our intuition, follow our gut feel. Um, we're kind of lacking the uh, intuitive feel on something. So just be aware of that. Again, the information's there, but it hasn't like intuitively registered yet. It hasn't give, gotten a gut check yet, and that's needed. Okay, looking at our cards, first up we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is very strategic, very intentional, very much so a long-term card here. Looking at our next card, it's like we need to focus on what we want long-term. Again, though, there's something we're not seeing with the perception card. There's something we're not intuitively connected to. Um, the King of Swords can be a card of seeking professional help too. So perhaps you, uh, it's so interesting to say this, like go to a tarot reader to get additional insight, or maybe even have a therapist or a friend or somebody you talk to, but it's like we're getting professional help on where we're trying to go, what the goals are here. We need that outside perception because again, it's not fully registered for us yet. The next card we have is the Magician. Love the Magician card. It's a card of turning visions into reality. It's very inspired action. Um, I think you're ready to take the inspired action, but again, there's like one more piece of the pie we need to figure out here, Aries. And at the bottom, we have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is about going from good to better. This is about advancing forward. So at this point, we're ready to advance forward. But there is some support that I think can get you to that next level, get you to that next step that you may need. Looking at our clarifiers, we have the Magician. We talked about this already. This is inspired action. This is you being ready to go, wanting to go, wanting to move forward. Um, so embrace this advice, this guidance, this other support that's coming in for you, that quote unquote professional help here, Aries, go ahead and embrace that so we can move things forward. Again, we're ready to move forward. You're ready to take the action. We just need a tiny bit more clarity, tiny bit more perception. Um, the next card that we have is the Wheel of Fortune. If you've watched my readings before, you know I love the Wheel of Fortune. This is good luck, this is good fortune, it's about being at a turning point. So again, things are really shifting, things are really moving here for you. And at the bottom we have the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is giving or receiving help. Again, I do see you getting help from somebody because we just need like that extra nudge, that extra perspective. We're not fully in tune and it seems like hearing it from somebody else or talking it through with somebody else will give you that edge that you need. <coughs> Excuse me. I swallowed wrong there. Okay, moving on to our next column. We're going to talk about anything related to money. So quick money affirmation to start us off with. Money is always moving towards me and it always finds me. So in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whoever you associate with money here. First up, we have the Seven of Swords. I don't know here, Aries feels like you really want to move on. Um, the Seven of Swords can be like theft, betrayal, dishonesty. You just like don't feel like this job is serving you well. Um, if you look at this person, they're like gathering their swords and scooting away. That's you. I feel like you are ready to move on to something new. The next card that we have is the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of delayed waiting, um, delayed success. You see this person planted their pentacles and they're just kind of sitting, waiting, waiting, watching them grow. Um, I feel like you're waiting for the right time to make your move. Be you're like one foot out the door, ready to go here, it seems, Aries. Looking at the bottom, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is encouraging you to go for something new. This is a card of expansion. It's a card of commerce. I do think there are other opportunities out there. More money, better opportunity. Um, but this is like saying you need a plan. The Three of Wands is a plan card. Also, this new job could have some travel in it. So again, you're wanting more, but more could come with travel. Okay. Let's look, a, look at our clarifiers, though. Um, first up we have the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. With the case of Ace of Cups, this is typically a new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage. Honing in on proposal, it is opportunity. So again, I think the opportunity is there, but don't just like 
quit before you have the opportunity. Going back to what I was saying about having a plan, have a plan first, get the other job first. Don't just get frustrated one day and leave. Make sure you have your next steps lined up. But again, the opportunity is floating out there, so definitely go after it. Somebody you know could refer you to that relationship piece there. So somebody you have an existing relationship with. The next card we have is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card of stress, exhaustion, too many burdens. That pretty much sums up your job right there, Aries. That's why you're wanting to move away. We're stressed, we're exhausted, we have too many burdens. Um, and at the bottom here, we have the Lover's card. Again, it does seem like maybe there's a relationship here. Somebody you know connecting you to this job. The Lover's card is typically a card of love, strength together, partnership, deep love. It is the decision, though. And I feel like you, again, wanted to show up one day and be like, okay, that's it. Go to lunch break and never go back. And I would advise against that, Aries. I think, again, you need a plan here. Um, but you need to make the decision, the two of... Uh, excuse me, the lover's card is coming through as a decision. So you need to make the decision, you need to make the plan, and then take the action. Also leverage those existing relationships. Perhaps that is uh, what opens that door to that new opportunity for you. Okay, looking at our love column now, let's take a look. Uh, friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So in this column, we're going to talk about anything related to love, family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love. First up, we have the death card. The death card does not mean death. I always like to preface that. Um, but this does indicate transformation, change, endings. Um, this is interesting. So I think I'm trying to generalize, and sometimes that's hard to do when we have a whole many, many Aries, right? Um when you have a whole zodiac sign. So I do think for some of you, a relationship is coming to an end. Uh, this feels like a very natural ending. This is a card for some of you. I feel like you're here looking for an answer if you should move on or not. So let this be that uh, message. So for some of you, again, I do feel like it's time to move on. Um, the death card does have that meaning. For some of you, though, I feel like you could be moving in together, so that moving on is actually moving in. So the relationship could be moving in that direction as well, but there's some sort of transformation happening here. Moving in or moving on. The next card that we have is the King of Cups. The King of Cups um, is very supportive. We're riding the waves. Again, some of you are maybe finding yourself riding the waves and all of a sudden there's just no water. Again, it's been a natural kind of course here. For others, I feel like this is the next wave of, um, so again, that moving on or moving in together, um, continuing forward on that transformation together. Um, the King of Cups also, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanna say here. I do see you having to take the lead. Oftentimes you have to take the lead on the King of Cups. Like if you don't push it forward, then it won't push forward. So. If if you don't end the relationship, it might not end. If you don't initiate the moving in, it might not happen. Um, at the bottom here, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is a card of working hard. So again, you're either going to keep working hard for this relationship, or you're done working hard for it. Looking at our clarifiers, we have the Hangman. The Hangman's kind of stagnant. So again, we've been waiting for the time for this relationship to fizzle out or we've been waiting for this time for it to transform. So I just see you waiting for it. Um, there's a lot of learning, a lot of wisdom that's happened in the course of this relationship. So that's being said through the Hangman as well. The next card we have is the Justice card. This is cause and effect. Um, the cause and effect could be positive or negative. Like we fought hard for this relationship and now we're moving in together or we've kind of given up on this relationship and we're moving on from this relationship. This is a good card for legal matters, contracts, things of the court. That does indicate a favorable outcome for you. So if any way, shape or form, there's a relationship or a love interest, interest connected to contract, legal matter, things of the court. Again, that is a favorable outcome there for you, Aries. At the bottom here, we have the 10 of swords. You see this person's kind of in a low spot. Um, the sky is dark, the person's laying down flat, they have all the swords stuck in them. That makes sense. I mean, again, uh, we're at this position of transformation and we're either transforming in a positive way from this low spot or we're letting this go. So 
through and through, move in or move on. That's my message there for you, Aries. Um, taking a look now at our fifth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the card Clarity. Clarity, I like. <laughs> Who doesn't want more clarity? I feel like clarity is always such an important thing. I like this though, you're getting information through the end of this month. Look for clarity, look for information. Seems that it's coming your way. So let's see what messages we got here. Ooh, nice spread. So first up we have the 10 of wands. The 10 of wands is a card of being stressed, exhausted, too many burdens. We talked about the 10 of wands a little bit earlier. Uh, but if you look at the card that it f is followed by, we have the world card. The world card is the last card in the major arcana. It's completing a goal, completing a lesson. It's something coming full circle. So we're going to be less stressed. We're going to be less exhausted. There will be less burdens. Again, I'm not sure exactly what's going to shift, but you will get the clarity on it, Aries, of what change is coming. And at the bottom here, we have the moon card. The moon card is kind of roll with the punches, uh, roll with the curve in the road. Um, it's kind of some things that can't be seen, some things that are unexpected. But again, we're going to clarity on them. And I like it because it's like, seems like we're ending some things that maybe we're not so good here. Let's look at our clarifiers. First up we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is like Prince or Princess Charming. It's very romantic, very proposal-like. Um, it's very much so a card of the ideal, of the epitome, uh, like perfect scenario. Um, I think at some point something was like so good and maybe it's gone sour now. But I also I think this is kind of like the rainbow after the storm, the new opportunity, the thing that we're moving moving towards, again, getting away from that stress, exhaustion, burden. The next card we have is the Knight of Pentacles. This is like the nose to the grindstone hard work card. So it's not to say that there's not hard work in this new opportunity as we move forward, but it's not the stress, the exhausted, having too many different burdens. And there's more reaping of the benefits with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like you put in the hard work and then you see the benefits of that hard work. At the bottom here, we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, um, again, that's that studious, that's that hard work. So whatever pops up, just be flexible. You're going to get clarity, but um, be ready to put in the hard work on whatever this shift is. Okay, at this point, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video here and think of them. But question number one, we have the five of hearts. This is number two card. That's going to be a yes. Question number three, we have the eight of hearts. This is number 30 card. That's going to be a no. And question number three, we have the seven of hearts. This is number 21 card. That's going to be a yes. So no, yes, no. If you watched your video earlier this month, Aries, we did pull a crystal from our healing stones deck. Your crystal this month is fluorite, which is good for order, structure, knowing when to say no. We have clarity of thought, so definitely clarity coming into this month. And a little bit of healthy ego there as well. And at the bottom, last thing, we're going to pull a card from our healing notes deck. Your healing note says, when you share joy and happiness, you give two of the most powerful healing medicines in the world. Thank you so much, Aries, for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. Again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your November.